Hello, I am Kit Sinclair, Bulletin Editor. From its first issue in 1958, the semi-annual WFOT Bulletin chronicled the changes taking place around our global profession at a time when print copy was the only option available. As technology advanced, the printed format evolved to what it is today. Over its many volumes, the development and production of the bulletin required a great deal of volunteer effort. Though I could not cover all of the many contributors, I wish to thank some of those who willingly volunteered their time to the bulletin. Acknowledgement must go to all past editors, including Barbara Postuma, 1984 to 86, Ruth Greenberg Harris, 1987 to 88, Cleffin Hume, 1988 to 92, Evelyn Bongers, 1994 to 96, Adele D-Day, 1996 to 2000, Louisa Shi, 2000 to 2002, Xin Yu Wu, 2004 to 2007, and me, from then to now. Without easy access to the internet, we all depended on the support of WFOT delegates to solicit articles and case studies to meet the themes of the bulletin. I wish to particularly acknowledge and thank Carmen Forncita, Venezuelan delegate, who for many years promoted the bulletin in Latin America and coaxed her colleagues into producing manuscripts. Each issue featured one of the four official languages of WFOT, English, Spanish, German, and French. News from national associations was included as a regular feature. This brings me to the heart of any journal's success, our loyal reviewers who took on the task of double-blind reviews, requiring sometimes multiple revisions from our authors. The editor editorial board and our more recent editorial team, Pat Chong and Margarita Gonzalez, have been exceptional. The American Occupational Therapy Association kindly published the bulletin for 10 years, from 1984 to 1994. Production was then taken on by successive publishers as the publishing process became more sophisticated. Sincere thanks go to all the people involved through the years, both personally and professionally, for the support allowed the bulletin to be provided to every individual member of the WFOT. My heartfelt thanks to the WFOT executive and particularly our executive director, Richard Ledger, fellow of the WFOT for the opportunity and support for me to lead the Bulletin editorial team for many years and through the pages to see our profession grow in maturity, strength, and diversity. The WFOT legacy is our strength, and WFOT is excited to be building on that strength through our loyal authors, reviewers, and readers as the Bulletin transitions to the next level.